Hello, dear listeners, followers of African Media Malta Broadcasting from Valletta. Welcome to the show. Today, we are talking about domestic violence against migrant women in Europe, in Malta. There is no reliable data that can determine how widespread or how deep is the problem because usually women tend not to report their abusers. But the reports available and testimonies of women who decided to speak up tell stories of psychological violence, physical violence, economic violence, and intimate partner violence. The reasons of violence are numerous, starting from the effects of patriarchal culture to the economic vulnerability of the victims and other many dynamics that we discussed today with precious Atigolo, Lorraine Fotso, and myself, Regine Genipsaila. Hello, girls. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank How you are you? Uh, You're good. We're okay. Okay, okay. Good. Happy, happy to have you. And uh, I want to say you mark to our listeners, to our viewers, that you mark here a man who is present with us as usual <laughs> from time to time shouting at us. That is Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget that this is the community region. Everything that you hear is normal. Okay, we the topic is kind of difficult. You know, we discussed it this week and then we decided to sit today and uh, highlight some points that are... Uh, Unfortunately, points that are part of uh, daily lives of many women who live here. It is uh, women who are beaten or who are psychologically abused by people that they love, by fathers, by parents. And uh, do you have any comments on that, Lorraine? Maybe, uh, I don't know, whatever, how can we start this, this difficult topic, uh, uh, Precious? Um, what I would say uh, when you're talking about abuse it's in so many ways most especially um, in marriages it's even more you know some people see it like uh, I don't I maybe I don't beat my wife so I don't abuse her but there are so many things that you can do to a woman that is even worse worse, worse than hitting her you understand so, um, and in, in our society today, it's kind of, it's now, it's like, it's normal. Mm -hmm. Because everyone is like, before you can see up to five homes, four can testify they are going through this abuse. Is it that from their husband, mm -hmm. from their family members? It's just too rampant. And most especially, it affects women a lot. Yes. And when you because say it's normal, you mean normal here or, or back home? It's no. everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere. And there is this mentality that um, uh, mostly in Africa, they believe uh, if you're a woman, you're not like, uh, you're not 100% like that important. Mm -hmm. uh, a man is the head of the house. So uh, as a woman, you should always say yes, even when it's not, when it's not supposed mm -hmm. to be yes. You should say yes because mm -hmm. as the man, is the head of the house and yes. they respect that fact a lot and back from our generations it has been something that no one has really stood up to correct because yes. back in those days you hear you hear some stories someone telling you hey hey, hey you're even you're even lucky you came this generation back then when we do something our husband will say ah we, we i'm not i'm not eating your food again is it, is it just just can we justify it Lauren, because we're coming from a patriarchal society can we just say because that's the way things were done then we accept it um absolutely not in my opinion any form of violence is not justifiable now I can understand that in the past century or maybe even decade, um, it used to be a practice. Mm -hmm. Now, whether it was accepted during that time or not, I don't think it's the subject right now, but I'm more interested in you know, understanding why um, women tend not to report uh, that they are being abused. Yeah. I mean, first of all to our listeners today we're focusing on women so we know that there are some men that are abused out there <laughs> we haven't forgotten you but today the subject is more about women yeah. so maybe yeah. we'll talk about men another day but um the thing is uh, there is a study that has shown that um uh, domestic abuse um usually occur in private or intimate spaces which would be most of the time the household you know mm -hmm. So um, it is very difficult 
um, for outsiders actually to see what is actually happening inside the household. Only those who live in the household know exactly what is happening in the household. Yeah. Yeah. So this, I mean, it's not like, as you said, it cannot, it's not just physical, it can be psychological, mm -hmm. it can be intimate, it can be financial, it can be economical. There are number of, numbers of ways to abuse um, yes. someone. So from an external point of view, mm -hmm. it is not easy to see it unless, you know, you really have like, you know, a black eye or whatsoever, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's, if, if it's financial abuse, it's kind of a bit more difficult to see, you know, there are yeah. some signs, but it's difficult to detect those. So I think this, these are the reasons why it's, uh, and along with the fact that, you know, women are usually ashamed yes, to, actually that was to expose their abusers. For whatever reason it is, love, uh, you know, dependence, I don't know. But um, they are so ashamed, and I can understand that it hurts their ego, but um, to me it doesn't justify that. They are abused, so they are the victims here, and it is the abuser who should be ashamed. It's not the victims. So, yeah. Yes, I, I definitely agree with you, and that's the point where sometimes people even outside this uh, relative don't understand why don't women report when they are abused precious early you were mentioned about being in love for example when we're talking about the intimate partner violence which is maybe that this is which that form of violence where a husband a partner someone that you loves actually treats you bad and why don't you report that is it just because you are in love that you have to accept everything is um what i what i have to say you know um, majorly stuff like this is either, there are always reasons for it. Mm -hmm. You understand. They are this type of family that will tell you it's not in our lineage. It's not in our lineage that you, 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 you have issues with your husband and you're, 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 you're inviting the own community to come and settle it. Your, there are some parents, there are some mothers that will tell you, do you know what I went through in the end of your father? Mm -hmm. yes. Do you know what I went through just to bring you up? And now you having something not even up to what I went through and you're not able to handle it. This is this is very difficult. I mean, we 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 we're talking about domestic violence with uh, to uh, on migrant women. So we're talking about aspects, cultural aspect that has entrenched in our in our souls. You know, Same, yeah. from from yes, from our parents. Because I remember very well as well when our parents, my, our mothers were telling us, you know, marriage or a relationship is about supporting, handling marriage. So you have to be strong. You you cannot complain because of a slap. But we know very well that it starts with a slap, and then it is a, a hard hit on the face, and then it becomes, you know, uh, uh, hell at home. Do, do we have to accept that today when there are now um, uh, mechanisms that can stop men from doing, from, from doing it? Because let's maybe move to Europe and saying that migrants women who come from patriarchal culture where they, they have been told that you must submit to your to your man whatever happens but they live now in a society where uh, domestic uh, violence it is against the law mm -hmm. they can report the perpetrator why don't they do it you know um uh, like you said we we were brought up in africa yeah mm -hmm. and some of these things are something that they are like lifestyle you, if if for adventure you grew up with your father and your uh, your mom, yeah. you've never seen something happen. Then your mom went out to call people. Yeah, she does not even report to the your your uh, the husband's brothers or sisters, mm -hmm. and you grew up in that kind of home whereby she makes you understand your marriage is your priority. What makes you a woman is to keep your home. What makes you a woman is to deal with your issues privately. Is it Corello? And is 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 it? So do I, you, are you a woman because you keep a marriage, whatever bad it is? No, I mean, so in my opinion, no. And uh, as Precious said, we live, we were brought up, or actually, we we have origins from a community that is very patriarchal in that sense, um, in the sense that you know, we don't expose our problems outside, let alone to the authorities. Because let's say I decide to report my husband because he had been hitting me, you know, 
all the entire family would know my family and his family so i would become the shame maybe not to my family but to his at least you know mm -hmm. so it would be the mentality would be how dare you he gave you his name you know and and, and his yeah. kind of thing <laughs> I was, yeah. Okay. So the name is more you? important than, than your health, than your well-being. I, mean, I I said the yes, name, you know, yes, you know, but yes. I think you understand I what understand I'm trying to say. Like, yes. you know, yeah. how dare you? He married you, you know, and 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 coupled with the fact that you know the bride's family would be raising her to be in a marriage. It's like if you're not married, you're nothing. Yes. So there is this association of things saying, okay, yes. um, you are lucky to be married you even luckier to be married to this Discussion. family you know so how dare you go you go and report him <laughs> especially if he takes care of you financially if he takes care if he gives you kids you know in africa we come from a culture if you mm -hmm. don't have a kid kids. if you mm -hmm. don't have a child you know mm -hmm. it's like you're cursed you know and, and so, the english is you you robbed the family on the mud you know mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. you, you robbed yeah, them exactly. on the mud. the mud you brought them you you you, you, you brought shame to the exactly. family you brought shame to the family no one in our lineage family. has ever done this so how could you so and the fact that mothers are also saying to their daughters um, i have gone through worse in my own marriage it's yes. not because i'm not speaking i mean my point is i'm sorry if you're gone through worse brilliant truly i am sorry you know yeah. it doesn't mean i should go you Absolutely. know through the same as you or even because less you know let, let me we, i want to to add something because we we, we speak a lot about the re resilience of women you know but mostly resilience of African women because going through all those is being uh, brought up with the knowledge that you will be beaten and then you cannot say anything and that is normal I think that why should a human being live like that you know and I want to maybe us to put words on things because it's important that people actually know what is a domestic violence you know let's say a woman is beaten or a, a woman is psych psych psychological abuse you were telling a story earlier uh, precious about that woman who with two children the guy just decided to change the lock of the door and chuck her outside with two children she doesn't have any means of sustainment and she explain that please explain that with words you know you explain how a man can treat a woman what is domestic abuse yes um before i go to that let me correct something you know when our parents tell us um i have went through um worst mm -hmm. she does not really want you to go through worst oh. she does not no mother there is no mother i'm a mom there is no mom that will say oh she's my daughter i want her to go through torture it's not not possible yeah. but she's only telling you that so you can understand that um in marriage it's not always a bed of rose there are worse things that will come mm -hmm. you're going to face a lot mm -hmm. but you should be strong as a woman yeah and you should have the courage to keep your home you understand there are sometimes maybe uh, I, I use myself as an example when i call my mom i might not go into details and say hey mommy uh maybe i'm not fine or something is going wrong before she end the conversation she always tell me my daughter you see marriage hmm. it's not a walk yeah, in the park a lot a lot <laughs> in marriage mm -hmm. it's a school that you does not graduate you go through different levels every day but what makes you a woman what makes the man see that, oh, she was really brought up well, mm -hmm. is the way you handle your home. I, I agree with that, you know, but I also have a problem with that, you know, because this is about telling a woman that your achievement in life is being married. It is not the, the proof. We, we, we cannot accept that to be our fate, you know. I want to say our fate, that's what men abuse women because they know, especially if coming from the, that African culture, that that woman, she needs a husband. So she will accept anything I, I'm, I'm ready to do, to do to her. We shouldn't tell that to our children you, anymore. You know, you know one thing when in you, you don't, you know, majority of things women do in their homes, they don't do it because of the husband. Some of them BS. They cry. They do everything because of their ch their children. Mm -hmm. Because who is that woman that has labored and you have the kids? You know, if you should live their life, it's never going to be easy for them. Yeah. No matter what the man does, sometimes that's why you find that you you see some women at the end of the day, maybe they died and mm -hmm, stuff like that mm -hmm. because they will keep. Saying, I'm just bearing all this because, because of my of children. Kids. Yeah. Where will I take them to? And I want their father to be in their life. And there is no way I can live with the kids. There was one post I saw on Facebook. The 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 lady came to it. It's a platform that women share their ideas mm -hmm. and stuff like that. She came and she was like, 
um, she wants to share her, her story. She's a woman that is married to one guy like that. But along the line, the mother of the guy will always come come to the house and call her names. You know, yeah. like you're not good enough for my son. You are this, you are that. It came to a point that she cannot take it anymore. Then she have to leave a uh, child and left. She said after some time that even when she w when she left, she was not herself. She was really, really thinking about this boy because she was thinking, how can he cope without me? Mm -hmm. You understand. But after some time, I don't know how come she said the guy later came back to apologize and she came back to, to the house. But when she came, the child she left was not what she met because a lot of things has has yes, gone wrong yes of course of course and i think she's yes. mentioning something very important yes a lot of things has gone wrong um also a source of abuse i mean an abuse can find its source from external influences okay when um you would have a friend uh, or let's say your husband or your partner you know that would compare um his marriage to his friend's marriage you know and his friends would especially say Oh, um, you know, your wife doesn't cook. You know, it's not a real wife. Why do you have a, a, a cook at home? You know, she it's it's her responsibility to cook, yes, you know. Yeah. Or um, your wife doesn't wear the last Chanel, you know, clothes or whatsoever. You know, what is she doing with her money? Or, uh, you know, these kind of things. And mm -hmm. then the husband would, would start saying, like, why don't you wear makeup? You know, my friend's wife, she always wears makeup. It's like... You know, and this is how it always starts, you know, in a, in such a vicious way. And then yeah. he would start putting pressure on, on, on you. Uh, and to me, this is a sort of abuse too, because not everyone is the same. Therefore, no marriage is, no yeah. two marriage are the same. You yeah. know, it, it's just not possible, you know. So yeah. that's why I, I think, you know, I, I agree that protecting your household is a must. If you do have a household to protect. Yes. It's a must. Yes. You because, shouldn't let yeah. any external force. Yes coming and interfere in your marriage but that that is the responsibility of a couple then because if a couple is not strong enough if a man again we're talking here about the patriarchal culture where a man says that a woman doesn't speak in front of me so i take decision and we do what i say we're doing how can you make a how can you prevent external from entering such a house when you you don't count when you just, you know, you, you are just a, a receiver of, of orders from, from a man, it's a man who is supposed to be your husband, that would be very difficult. Oh, yeah. Before marriage, there should be like a dating time and there would be signs. Yes. I mean, he cannot just wake up one day, stand up one day and say like, okay, as of today, you know, I already got the ring on my finger, you know, yes. like, as of today, yeah. you know, when you're speaking to me, you have to tilt your head down and then, you know, you don't answer back to me. You know, it's, there are signs before and i think it's important to start detecting these signs before if you see you can cope with them oh hey by all means <laughs> you know i would yeah. first yeah. encourage yeah. Yeah. if you see you can cope with them then you just say hey either we change dates mm -hmm. or oh, we stop it. now there are also women that are for some reason and i don't understand it hoping to change their the spouse, spouse. And I am just like, no, you know, I mean, their parents didn't manage to change them. You know, what kind of chance do you think you can change a man yeah. whose parents did not manage to change? Actually, it, it's just not, I mean, yeah, it's it, possible. It, Miracles are possible, you know, but. It is utopia. They don't exactly. change. Men don't change. I so mean, people don't change. People don't change that easily. As I mean, it is much easier to change, let's say, a one-year-old child than a 50-year-old man. Yes, because he's had 50 years to keep the same habit, whether it's good or bad, you know, yeah. whether uh, I mean, whereas a one year old child or let's say a 12 year old man, it's, you know, it's less difficult, let's say that way. So, yeah, I you think you got the point. You got the point. Uh, when you, you, you mentioned on the, the, the dating before, you know, again, it, it comes down to what we are saying. African women want to get married. So now maybe. I want us to kind of determine or point what can be the solution against how can women protect themselves against being abused by men. Because we know we know the stories of the woman who was stuck out with two children. She doesn't know where to go. Maybe she doesn't walk. Or the work that she, she does is very precarious. Or we know of a man who actually brings at home a girlfriend. 
we, we have stories of we, we have the, the, the story of, of women who have been locked up into houses with the forbidden to speak to their uh, friends. How can we support? How can we assist? How can a woman get out of that cycle of, of violence? Um, what I have to say, first of all, there is no way you can detect everything about your spouse in relationship. They are they are they are partners that will pretend they, they would they, you can never mm. most especially when they have targets. Mm -hmm. There are some guys that let me say for example, back then in Libya they want you to cross with them mm -hmm. and they know when you come, when you claim to be couples, things are going to be easy for them. Mm -hmm. They are going to make sure you find nothing against, against them. them. I don't know if you're getting my point. Mm -hmm. It would be it would be as if maybe they're master manipulators. They, you understand because they've they, they 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 know exactly what their target they is. They're in a mission. Yes, you understand. Yeah. So they would not want you to have any reasons of doubt or nothing. That same applies to so many other relationships. Yes. There are some men that they know what they want. They know this person. I'm not going to spend much time with her. Mm -hmm. But they just want to achieve. They just want want to use you, and you know, mm -hmm. that's why you find out today Found there are lots of break up everywhere. There are yeah. some relationship crashing and everything. And you're surprised; you'll be so shocked to see that after you you get married to the person, the same person you've been with all these years, yeah. that will not be the person that will start person. telling you uh, when you wake up in the morning you're supposed to go on your knees and greet me. A responsible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, yes. a responsible woman, a responsible woman, when you're giving me food, you have to kneel down. Oh my God. And hold the food with your head up. Does it actually happen? Huh? Yeah. It does, man. It, it, it really, it's really happening. You know? And it's, not, it's not funny right now because if you say you have to see them in relationship, yes. my sister, you are going a long thing. Yes. Long? Yeah. Haven't you, haven't you seen relationship? You you have to meet once in a while. Maybe you go out. Yes, exactly. But it's marriage, every, but marriage, you, you, you have see to the person together. every day. Yes, every day you see. Like like you uh, what, what one pastor said. He said if you want to go on a date with a girl, he says it's like university. He say you will come out with like five suits. You'll be asking your friend, "Alpha, check this thing. Are you saying this one go away?" Yes. You say no, no. I just the tie. Yeah. And the woman will be there in the saloon. She will make her hair. She will do her nails. The makeup will be the best in town yes. because you are going for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> After marriage, you wake up beside this same man that that came with suit, <laughs> with with bottles of three days. He has not even think of pulling it. So you don't expect this to be, be the same. I think and that it, yeah, girl that yeah. came with human hair, bone straight hair, she is now with bare hair. Yeah. <laughs> you don't expect this to be the same. They are two different persons. Yeah, you, know they are, they, you, you, you don't expect this to be the same. I think, I really think, I mean, yes, you yes. know, the picture is so beautiful, but also this is also the responsibility of the couple. You know, you don't want to let your soul go. Your yourself go that much because you are already married you have to keep up your your style you know you want to keep up doing your hairstyle you have to keep up being clean this is important as well I it's, think for it's any not couple. easy it's not yeah. easy for a woman to keep herself when she's when, when, when i mean to keep when herself she when she start having children yes it all depends on how supportive the old man is. is imagine a woman who have three kids and she's working how do you expect her to cope she would wake up in the morning make breakfast Prepare, attend to the children, prepare yes. the kids her husband, to go to school and stuff like that. And go before she work. would not start, before she even finishes, she's kind of tired. Yeah. She would just want to, you know, throw on anything she sees and that's it. It is, it is. You a understand? Yet and a when, the, if, if it's a man that is understanding, you wake up in the morning, you're like, okay, fine, this woman has a lot to do. Let me do this one. And when she has time for herself, and there are some, there are some, some men that will tell you, eh, you be married woman, oh. This cloth where you wear, you no good. Uh, you have to, most especially when you start seeing people poking their nose from outside, yes. they will start telling you, married woman, I they dress like this. Mm. I do what you wear, so. Yes. <laughs> you wear your my house. Yes, they don't see you from outside. You they don't understand. see what you're going through inside into you know, your house. You know, yes. you know on, the, on, on the 30th of September, I, someone that came to my birthday, I changed it like I almost lo lost it. If not, that it was my birthday. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Because for some time now, there is this um, saying, uh, they, 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 they've said it, I think, three times, my husband's friends. Like, they say it, like, I, at first I was thinking it's just maybe a joke. Mm -hmm. You hear something like, the first one happened when I went to pick my, when I was coming back from the hospital with my boy. My husband came to pick us, and they were like, hmm, ah, now what's in, one of them, ah, now what's in, we are come to be this one. And I was like, 
I just looked the guy that I I thought it was a joke, you know. Mm-hmm. So I just smiled. He asked Paris. you what are you how are you Is what? this what I wore to yeah, the hospital? Exactly, like, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So after that one I thought it was a joke. And uh instantly my husband replied, Oh, leave her now what's in I like who? Okay, the like husband said that I like her that way. Yes. Yes. And he, well, he even went ahead to say, this one is even too long. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, we make, I thought everything These are people good. just, somewhat you an understand. external person and who judges then, you. And yes. after then, we went somewhere again, and this same thing came up. And when I got home, I told my husband, see, don't be offended, because the next person that would say this thing, ah, oh, God, I'm going to tell the person, how the real me. Yes, because yeah, absolutely, yes. You don't feed me. Mm-hmm. You're not my husband. Yeah. You're not my elder brother. So these are the people. Besides, who, I'm not yeah. even. That's the person, what I was saying. The a while person I'm external. The external. Yeah, the, 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 the person that I'm under his roof. Yeah. He's not exactly. complaining. So who are you? You don't pay my bills for heaven's sake. Who the hell are you to absolutely. tell me? You know. Mm-mm-mm-mm. So why am I saying all these things? And uh, so luckily, someone came to my birthday, and I was doing something, and he said something crazy kind of related to that and i the thing sparked my head (laughs) i started like i started i did not even know when i kick off but i was trying to calm myself because it's my birthday yeah and the person was saying no i'm just joking don't joke with me like that please they, they don't understand and that is that. Just, I mean, me, maybe that, that, that is you. maybe our cultural aspect where we just we just speak about everything we are yes so we, are, we say so easily things to people and that uh-huh. like uh, when, how you why, why am like i this saying this why am i saying this because when you see if it only happen when the man you're with at home is the one that is understanding is the one that will say oh i want my wife to look sexy i want my wife to look good it needs to know? stand for i guess i want my yes. wife to look uh, 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 uh different whenever she goes out there are some that will tell you for our family, woman wear don't marry na rapa i What does that mean? <laughs> I like, that they wear yes, okay, rapa, yes. okay, yes, you need rapper, to dress yes, responsibly. Exactly. But yes, you know what they call the wear trousers or the yes. wear leggings. You know they happen for our family. The external, per- the external. But I would yes. even say something. Yeah. Even if, first of all, publicly, your the, the the husband has to stand for his wife. Yes. You have to present a united front. Now I'm not married, so you can say how am I how am I qualified to say this? I think it's a A B C, you know. I a, am married, it is an A B C, you, you know, know. If if you, you, you have don't to join yes. present a united front. Yes. There is absolutely, in my opinion, no no question about that. For everything, and for everything. Even yes. if, and even if the husband, let's say, agrees with the external forces, yes. mm-hmm. he shouldn't just Agree throw her yes, exactly. throw her under the bus like this yes, you know yeah. and not only he shouldn't do that but i think in my opinion if he's even like um um how can i say like responsible and even sensitive enough to these kind of things he would help her mm-hmm. change the way she dresses yeah like it's not just about saying i don't like the way you dress just change you know he can for example start buying but new things for you know and, that he likes, and say yes. okay oh, can you try this oh i like this on you and yes. whatsoever you know and and i mean women usually like pleasing the, the people men. they love the yes. men they love so this i mean this kind of small gestures actually it helps you know it but helps a lot it helps a lot. now to answer your question the original question like how can we sort of uh, yeah. prevent you yes. know women from women good? protect themselves yes so i would say there are two cases either they are married so already living together mm-hmm. or not mm-hmm. so this in yeah. this case i mean if they are not living together prevention unfortunately as precious said they are master manipulators and whatsoever yeah, so then sometimes. we go to the second case yeah. you know um the second case when, when you would be together and then all of a sudden it's like the mask collapse yes. <laughs> yes. you will be experiencing some some funny or strange or not so funny things and whatsoever yeah. i would say first of all these things happen for um i saw a study in switzerland if i'm not mistaken mm-hmm. 2019 where uh, uh, I think it was 33% of abused women were originally from migration, coming from African yes. countries or whatsoever. 33%, 33% yes. which is one third, which is too much. Yes. Now, in my opinion, this is very possible. Why? Because they are isolated from their families. Mm-hmm. They don't necessarily have friends to speak to. They don't necessarily have family to say like, oh, you're not feeling, you're not looking well. You're not mm-hmm. looking as joyful as usual. I mean, you can always fake on the phone. Yes. You know, yes. you can. But if you actually live in the same city or that with that, you know, a family member that actually knows you or stuff like I think 
this helps because then you you're confident that you might be able even if you're not so willing to speak to them mm -hmm. they would detect now you can hope that they would help or not you know that's yes. another but another thing that i think it would be able to help prevent this is luckily we live in europe where all of this kind of stuff is illegal yes it's so absolutely have the courage to go and report, report. Mm -hmm. i mean the law would be on the abused person site yeah in europe at least in, yes, yes exactly in europe now i can understand that there are some women because i need to speak about those cases that abuse this system as well you know like you want to, they know to, they, they want to get rid of their husbands and whatsoever they just cry like oh domestic abuse you know this i condemn them <laughs> let's yes. let's make it very clear which know? i'm not sure if there are data about that but as you say 30 percent it's 33 percent is the latest one third of women who are abused and even because i i was reading also another report was saying that actually there's data available but it's not the whole picture exactly. because there's a lot of hidden stories women who are ashamed percent mm -hmm. of those who report because of those who report it you see what i mean so okay so it's those who report it so you have the reported the report yes list, official you know, and then you have 33 percent of those that have reported yes. these are coming from the immigration Africa. And so, not all of them report so well it's it is exactly it is, it is so, a lot and, and i'm not yet yeah, gone go gone, gone, and gone, i mean go. we have uh structures here in europe that would help you in this now i mean there would be you know sometimes a misuse or miscarriage of justice or these legal structures or yeah. i mean i have heard cases where women abuse women would go to a police station and report her like you know it already takes a lot of courage you know to yeah. do this especially from our culture yes. where it's very patriarchal you like you cannot just denounce somebody because you say yes. okay he's you know he's somebody's child or you know i don't want to put that shame on my family yes. so it already takes a lot of courage to do that you know and and to these women i i say kudos you know yes. because we've already done the first step yes but then you will have like uh it, it doesn't happen very much thank god but you'll have like systems that would say okay go back home you know we would investigate like i'm just like you know i ironically wonder i ironically wonder what can go wrong with that <laughs> you know it's like mm -hmm. you know i go back home and we'll investigate it no so thank god it doesn't happen that much mm -hmm. i mean i need yeah. to check to be honest yes but i would like to make a special shout out for um, spain that has actually a structure from which a lot of countries in the world can mm -hmm. take an example from they have special courts mm -hmm. um, for domestic abuse mm -hmm. they have magistrates that have been trained specifically mm -hmm. for that they can open a session in court in an emergency way okay yes. giving um uh, like like an electronic bracelet to the person who is abusing yes. their partner as a way of saying if we detect you near to yeah. this you are in big trouble you know um they have a special i think in valencia in spain mm -hmm. there is a special precinct um specialized yes. in abused um domestic abuse like yeah. i mean usually in precincts you know you will have like every department for this for this you know in mm -hmm. valencia i think there is a special one just for, for, for abuse this. you know so it, it, it's like they would put you in protective homes and keep yeah. your your identity secret or yeah. give you phones you know to say yeah. okay just press this number if you feel like you, your 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 partner is coming too close and then yeah. we will intervene i mean they would give you this kind of culture uh, and this kind of structure basically they would have homes um, specialized for um, abuse women with their children mm -hmm. you know obviously the, the other part wouldn't know you know that the, the yes. spouse wouldn't and it don't it doesn't exist I haven't heard of any of this here in Malta, where we're living, for example. There are some homes here in Malta where that uh, welcome women uh, who have been abused, you know. The, the the problem in Malta is documentation. I, I, I know stories of women who were abused by her husband, but they came here uh, using her hus their husband documents. As soon as you are it separated depends. from your husband, you lose that you become undocumented and that's the problem here that's so a form well, of abuse too. it is a form not only from, from 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 your partner but even from the system because as soon uh, because the the man knows that you rely on him to stay in the country you have you are there and, and you can accept actually you actually accept every form of abuse because of that fear that you remain undocumented if the state doesn't protect you see how the two the two sides of of where the woman can be trapped into into that hell and which is very difficult and me i want to to add to what you said lorraine women have to 
protect themselves because what's <coughs> happening actually we mentioned in the, the system is that uh migrant women who ha arrive in the country where maybe they don't speak the language well so they don't know where to go when they have a problem and uh, they might not even have a steady job and i just want to tell to our sister who are abused out there yes okay we protect our society but if someone beats you if someone doesn't allow you to talk to your friend if someone doesn't give you food then that person doesn't love you love is different when you love someone you want that person to laugh to be happy you don't love someone that you make cry every day this is has nothing to do with love i think that is very important for women to know that you might love someone but how do you beat your husband because you love him do, do you you don't you don't cook, do food for him what well, can try to think about the things that you do for for him for love and then step back and say is he doing the same for me no if he's not doing the same then he doesn't love you so really we really have to take that strong stand and say no and in europe there are mechanisms as you gave the example of 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 uh, of Spain, we can give the example of France, or of even in Malta. The least in Europe is that you can report someone to the police, and that person will be arrested for sure. And there are even oh, cases. At least in investigated. At least investigated. At least you can keep the house. At least you are you stay in the home with, with your children. You are not chucked out from the house like trash. These are many things that, in my opinion, women can do for themselves. Report and I, at and I think, and I think the very first thing as well, because a lot of things, these things happen because the women, a lot of them, I'm not saying most of them, but some of them happen because the women are not educated. Educate yourself. Be financially free. Because yes. when you depend on a man yes. that has that Economy much can. power on you, yes. whether it's because, you know, um, thanks to, to, to him, you having papers and account, I mean, I know a case of a man basically that went to the US because he married an American lady. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know. The US has a system over there. When you go get married with a K visa, um, you have three months to get married. So basically, his green card was depending very much on his wife. Yes. Well, guess what this guy claimed to me? That she was abusing him. And he could not leave because he had to bear it for like three years. Because, because his green card just... was depending on her. Uh -huh. So it's like, yes. my question is, how do you put yourself in this kind of position? So it's like three years. It's very long for you to get killed, for example. If exactly. you, it's you like, can get killed. It's like, <laughs> actually, I mean, like, that's, how do you put actually, yourself? Actually, documentation is really a very much, you know, uh, very aspect. Yes, and, very and important. I can, into, and I can uh, see the same with finances. Yes. How do you put yourself under the cup of a man? Yes. Who only brings all the, he's the only breadwinner of the family. Yes. I mean, let's say tomorrow he passes away. What happens? Even if he doesn't abuse you, what happens if tomorrow he passes away? It is important for women to be economically independent, definitely. Precious. What, what I something? have to say yes. um, in all of this, um, there are so many women out there that cannot boldly go to the police. Not due to some reasons that I'm best known to them. You understand? Mm -hmm. And this is what I have to say. If you're a woman, you know you so much love this person in question, you can't leave. You can't you can't um put him in danger, let's say it that way. I plead I'm pleading with you mm -hmm. to at least step out for yeah. some for some yes. time. Yes. You don't have to be there to make things work. If you're there and you see you're receiving this over and over again, you can step out for a bit, take a walk, mm -hmm. talk to someone about yes, it. Yes, definitely. For the little time you'll be away, see what can be changed. Mm -hmm. Because we are saying you speak to the, you speak up, you speak up. Not everyone, not every courage. woman has the courage to do it. I am saying speaking up, okay, to the police. Yes, not every woman has the courage to go to the authorities. Yes. But they are like charities that can help. Mm -hmm. Like speak up to someone or mm -hmm. at least to a face that can be able to, that has the power to help. And that is what I am saying. Majority mm -hmm. of these women, mm -hmm. they see like 
this mentality I'm talking about is something that has been synced. They think, they just see it like it's the way of life. Yes. Do and let understand? me just add to that. You just yes. then, Before you continue, because organization has there, and women don't even know that the organization existed because the reports that we, we, we check say that they don't know where to go. They don't speak well the language, especially uh-huh. those who are here. So they actually lost. You in, into, into So what I have to say is just... When we we you asked the question earlier, what are what are the things we need to do to yeah. free ourselves from stuff like this? It's something that has to do with individual. The way you think is different from the way I think. Mm-hmm. I may think, okay, this is the best way for me to free myself. You may be thinking the other way around. Mm-hmm. You understand. And one thing I know, one one thing that I really want to say, when you see a woman, a woman or a friend like you going through abuses stuff like that you should speak up you should be a a, a helper Mm -hmm. because in our generation these days women are the one even shaming women yes yes unfortunately women are the one even dragging your fellow when you know this person needs help when you have when you have all it takes to speak up you know this person is weak she cannot speak up and you are close to this person you know exactly what she's going through Mm -hmm. you cannot instead of you trying to help you are there bringing her down. Yes, we know. You are there telling her, my husband no go try and move. No, my husband no go try that rubbish with me. Mm-hmm. He no go try and they never born him. Mm. Some of them who even say that they experience they are the worse. Ones, <laughs> they experience yes. worse in yes. their own house. They are the going through worse. You see, you see, you that as you that you're speaking up and saying, oh, this is what I'm going through. Oh, my friend, see mm-hmm. what I'm going through. They will make you feel like you are in the worst one. Why, if you go to their house in private? She's crying to bed and waking up in tears. Yeah, Do you yeah. understand? So in our in our in our generation today, stuff like this are happening. And what we are pleading as a man, as a woman, you're in a relationship. You find out there are some things that is coming up that you you are not able to handle mm-hmm. at that moment. There is someone they call Godfather. There is someone you you, they, you that is closer to you. Mm-hmm. There are some men that are closer to their mother. Yes, that cannot speak to any other person, but they will talk to their mother. That is why sometimes I say, as a wife, you don't get married to the man. Instead, you get married to the family. Yeah. Chat. Yes. Because if you're married to the man, one faithful day when he f- maybe, he, he, uh, what's it called? He take one bottle of 8.6, he tell you <laughs> your life history. And when you try to react, he tell you, you get out of my house. <laughs> you understand? Yes. But when you're used to the family, you, you, you know who they are. You are... You, you are relating with them often. It will be... If the family be, lacks you, because yes. that's another point. Sometimes the family sometimes the, the family doesn't accept you, you but know. But you still have to deal with them. Yeah. Especially uh, if you're married. I mean, we're talking here about very uh, a very cultural aspect of the marriage, you know. That is our culture. And it is even an abusive system. Because that thing is that you are married to a man. No, you are not married to a man. You are married to a family. Yes. I mean, everyone in your family just comes and speaks up in, in your marriage. So you are not even free. And this is very difficult. Yes. Uh, women, women have it yes. hard in I Africa, would not to be blame, honest with you. Sorry, I would not blame anybody that will come to say anything in your marriage. Why would I not blame that person? Because I cannot just wake door. up. I cannot just wake up today and say, "Hey, oh yeah, oh, my family, more will get family meeting. My husband will need to divide and plus and minus and today. It's not. It, it's not done that way. Mm-hmm. It's my husband. No, it's my husband. Yes. It's my responsibility. If there is something is not doing right, I should speak to him, not you. You're not my microphone. You know? exactly. I should speak yeah. to him, and same applies to the man. Yes, definitely. So when you see family coming and telling the woman, you are not good enough for my son, it's what the son has said to the family. Mm-hmm. And the son opened the door for them to come in. Yeah, so it's just... Actually, we have to, we want to give a message to men as well, because here we're talking about domestic violence. It comes from, there are many reasons for domestic violence. One of those is really the cultural aspect, where the man is the head of family on disgust, on challenge. And it is too much power that he cannot handle. He, do, he doesn't even know how to handle it. A man does not need to have that power over a woman. It's, it's not fair. It's not okay. It's not right. And that's something has, that must be broken. And me, personally, what I, I want to say to men out there who beat their women or who exercise any kind of, of psy- psychological violence, just stop it. Because loving a woman is totally different from making her cry or making her being sad or or whatever power you think you have over her the only power that you can have over a woman is to make them feel happy make her feel love being wanted her to be with you all the time i mean how 
can it be such a, a nice you know moments that when women say i my my husband is my best friend this is a, for me a, a man should launch for it a man should want her wife to tell to around that my husband is my best friend that's mm. how you, you know that a man loves a woman yes that's what you want to tell to you boys men from africa who beats your woman who mistreat them stop it look for your wife to be your best friend that's what I you mean, need to do even if your wife is i mean sorry if your wife is very happy if you manage to make her very happy you would always want to be around her because you don't want to be around pessimistic people. You want to be around people that bring joy. joy you know, you want to be around people that, you know, light up a room because they are joyful. And I mean, exactly. in, in my opinion, it should be in, in a way that, you know, you treat each other in a way that um, after a day at work, you mm -hmm. are happy to rush to home. home. Like, you know, you just yeah. can't, like, yes. as soon as work starts, you're just like, oh, I'm going to miss him. You know, yeah. I'm going to miss the jokes that I yeah. usually do with yeah. him or, or, yeah. or the silly things I say to him because it, I joke with him and or stuff like that. You know, yeah. it, it's yeah. like, this is how it's supposed to be. Even yeah. if you're going through mountains and valleys mm -hmm, and this mm -hmm. is how it's supposed to yeah. be, you know, yeah. like the person you rush to. Yes. The person whenever, you to. whenever, you know, I mean, even if. Let's say I am married, for example, mm -hmm. okay? And then my best friend tells me something and she would tell me like, okay, I tell you this, but don't tell anybody. But I will still rush and tell my husband. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yes. That is how it has to, to be, be you know? yes, you know. Like, I will still rush and tell my because, husband. Yes, because yeah. it's like... That is how, we, we share the secret. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. it's weird. This is how it's supposed to be, in my opinion. And, to say, and to, say, to say this, when we are talking about this topic, we are not trying to say men are not the head of the house. You are. You can still be a lovely husband mm -hmm. and still be the head. Yeah. You can still be that man every woman wants and still be the head of the house. Yes. You being the head of the house, it makes you take charge of every single thing, including our emotions, mm -hmm. including making her happy. That makes you the head. You're not the head because you say, hey, do Madam, this, do that. Yes. Before, you're my slave. I, before I wake up tomorrow morning, uh -huh. make sure you sweep out the streets, back, clean the zinc. <laughs> that does not make you. That does not make you the head of the house. Absolutely not. That does not make you the head you're of an the abuser. house. Or you'll be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be the head of the house that your kids will even be scared to talk to you. Yes. That we we are not saying women are perfect hundred percent. We have our parts. Yes. Women, some women, and that's why I did say nothing. I did not say anything when you're talking about women in Europe going to report. Majority of the women in Europe, they are perfectly doing it. Some of them want to take child support. Yes, that's why I'm saying yes, some yes. of them are abused, some and I condemn them. Some, <laughs> some, some of them want to. So it's like going to report every now and then. Even the system is used to it. Uh, they will come separate you from the man you start taking. Yeah. There are lots going on, but what we want to say what we are saying to our viewers your family is your pride mm -hmm. your family is your investment mm -hmm. if you're not even investing if you don't know you're investing on the wife but your children are there that you really need to invest whatever you were doing today is what they are growing up with your child would, would, would grow up tomorrow and say hey when i we, everyone says it you might say when i was with my mom then when my mom and my dad ah this is what they do. This is what they do because that was what you grew up saying. Exactly. So whatever thing you do is what that kid is what those children are saying. Mm -hmm. If you're that type that hits your wife's every little argument, you hit her. Mm -hmm. There are better ways you can treat issues like that. And yeah. even the child, if he says it, especially the boy, he might repeat it on somebody else. I'm telling else's. you, and you find that those children grew up and in you, abused you, homes. you hear them, you, you hear them every day, they get reports from school, he, he beat he, he one girl, he yes. slapped one girl, yes. that's how he did this one, because that's what he's that's saying what he at, home. at home. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I want to add something to what Pressure said. Um, you know, yes, man is the head of, of, uh, of the family, but um, I would say the head leads by example. Yeah, oh. and uh, you know, being violent is not exactly not a good true. example, you know, if uh, to to say the least. Mm -hmm. And I would also say, um, you know, when um, you are the head of a family, it therefore means, or one can deduce that, you know, his spouse, like his bride, um, would go lead with him. You know, not okay. She wouldn't have everything in charge, but. Mm -hmm. Somebody said to me, like, the man is literally the head 
and his wife would be the neck. Now try and turn your head without turning the yeah. neck mm -hmm. and tell me how it goes. Exactly, yeah. It doesn't work. That, that, <laughs> right. It doesn't work at all, you know. That actually, you're saying the same thing, you know, really, yes. it's, it's really the same thing yes. with two different. Yes. Yes. yes, exactly. So please, please, we are pleading. Yes, we, we are speaking, we, we, we are speaking we, up for the women because yeah. there are so many women that are weak and that, that cannot say nothing, that does not mm. even know where to go from yes. here. Please, you can still be a lovely father and be the head of the home. Let's put stop to this violence. You hear, you hear married uh, a, a couple that just got married some months back. You hear this one stab this one. That was how this one killed this one. Mm -hmm. That was how this one. It was supposed to be love, not the other way around. Absolutely, love is selfless. Yes. We, 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 I don't know. We want to. We, we let you conclude the show because it, it is. Uh, it all. It is a difficult matter, definitely. But yes, we, we, yes. We, there, there are lots. There are lots. There are lots to this issue of domestic violence. It can. And today we're talking ma majorly about the, the the family, wife, husband. But there are some other. There are some other family members that you are getting it from. Just imagine. Someone will just come to your home. Someone, maybe the, the husband, sister, or the husband, brother, starts bossing you around. Some of yeah, them will even go to of, the extent of hitting, of hitting the woman or throwing abusive words at her. What we are saying, let love lead. We know we are not perfect. These are two different people who came from different family. It's going to be hard. You need to work on yourselves. You need to tolerate each other. I am not saying going to the um, authority is the best option. There are many ways you can do it. If you know you cannot take it anymore, take a walk, take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Think of what you can do. Mm -hmm. Think of one or two persons you can talk to. When you see it's not working, your life is more precious yes. than any other thing. Just take a walk. Yes, do that, woman. Don't do go, that. don't go, don't, don't say, <laughs> okay, and this one, uh, I cannot go because of my kids. I will stay here. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you died. Exactly. And you, 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 you're being very, the kids, you, you, you are here because of them. They are here. Or you're saying, no, I, I want to talk. And my family members, they will, ah, no, 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 no. My sister, you will die and your family members will still be here. Yes. They will still be here living fine I mean, and everything. Exactly. And those children. They will bury you and then I'm after a couple of, of, of years, you know, you will be almost and that forgotten. Same, and that same man you, you kid yourself for. I'm very sure that night, the, his fiancé will come to your, your funeral. Yes. So. It does not make sense. No, it doesn't really. I think that we have given quite good, some good piece of advice to, to, to our, to, to women who listen to us. And uh, we need to conclude the show. We almost at the end of it. It's, it's been talking with one hour for an hour. So a couple, a family, it is uh, a lot of people. A family is a father, a mother, a family is a husband and a wife, a family is a, a husband and one with children. These are the people who form a family. These are the people who form the society. A violent society isn't a happy society. And women are the ones who suffer mostly about violences, physical violences, because of the, the, the nature of, of what, how they are. And we really need that to stop. And specifically, migrants, women coming from Africa who suffer here in Europe because they don't know how to navigate the system that can actually protect them. You gave the example of Spain. In, in, in Malta, there are mechanisms where a woman can go and report abuses. Or if she cannot report abuse, she can take have help from organizations, from, from friends. And to men who think that... Uh, uh, leading or, or being powerful is by being violent. We tell you to stop it. It's not. It's not so. A, it's a, not. A, a, a a powerful man is a loving man. Is a man who 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 uh, for whom you you want to be to be to to to, to, to you want to respect someone that you look up to. That's that's the sort of men that we want. Precious, mm -hmm. you know. Can you conclude the show? Yes. Um. In we. Coming to the end of the show today, we thank you all for staying with us. We really do appreciate every one of you. And please, uh, this is a topic today. If you have an idea or there is something going on, there is something you really want to talk about, please leave your comments down below. And please, to our men out there, to every marriage that is that can come across this in one way or the other, we are pleading. Marriage is supposed to be for love, for care. You should be that head of the house that stands as a rock to, to, to cover your family. You should be the one to protect your family from any danger, any form of danger, not you bringing the danger back home. And to our wives, there are so many of our wives out there that provokes the men even to do what they are not supposed to do. You are a woman, you are a mother. If you can take care of your child, make sure no evil come to your child. 
Why not do same to your spouse? Why not do so? Why not do same to your partner? There are some difficult time we know. When you know, like, like for, for example, you know th th this man is the type that when he keeps talking, he gets angry. When he starts talking, find something to do. Don't stay there and keep telling him what you go feed do. You can't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and just with one slap, you are in the hospital. <laughs> No, no, just with one slap uh, in the hospital. Well, everything okay, yeah. saying uh, is saying is you're telling me. Can I disagree with that? You know, we are women as well. You know, we need to express ourselves. I mean, a, a man is there talking, talking to, I need to say, what do you want to do? Oh my God, this is so, we, we, we woke up the man. I, I think there are also, I think there are also ways of talking to a man. You understand? You know, when he's angry or when you he's, he's upset or whatever. Don't, don't sort of add oil I, to okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my